Today, we're taking a look at a new project in the AI gaming and data narratives. You're going to want to stick around because there is an opportunity for you to get into this project early on. We're going to give you all the details you need to know about this project. But first and foremost, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss these videos and opportunities. Smash the like button if you're enjoying the type of content we're putting out, as well as check out our VIP Discord. All of the opportunities are found within that discord you get access to private sales to pre-sales whitelist opportunities you can see my buys and sells and so much more so there is a link in the description below to the vip discord as well as our free discord community so the project we're taking a look at today is called carve and what it is they are basically building the largest modular data layer for gaming and artificial intelligence. So in a nutshell, Carve empowers individuals to own, control, and monetize their data in the AI revolution. As I've said time and time again, I am super bullish on artificial intelligence. I do believe that this is the future in crypto as well as the real world. And if you combine that with gaming as well as data storage, I do believe you have a recipe for success but if we dive deeper into carve in itself and what they are offering to the community and to the public here i think we have the simple diagram as to what they are building they kind of have uh, three different aspects so they have carve play which is basically an ai powered super app that is all about gaming so you have your social identity in gaming within that app then they also have the Carve AI agent. So this is actually a Telegram-based bot that you can be asking questions to relative to any type of a gaming question you may have. And this AI bot is essentially answering your questions. Now, basically, this is all built on what they call the Carve protocol, which is that data-centric protocol that empowers people to use, monetize their data in the way that they want to do it. And we do see that more applications are even possible within the Carve applications, such as, you know, games, AGIs, NPCs, so on and so forth. And on top of that, you could also go a step further, talk about decentralized storage because the data needs to be stored somewhere. And we also have node operators on top of everything. So that in a nutshell, is the basic ecosystem of Carve, but let's go into the details of each of those systems. So if we take a look at Carve Play in more details, well, here we are talking about a platform that is basically allowing gamers to showcase their achievements. So we are talking about a way for gaming achievements to be displayed. And these are what they call their soul bound tokens, basically like an NFT that you get to showcase in your inventory with all of your milestones and achievements. On top of that, Carve Play features 600 plus games and rewarding NFT games. So that is definitely another benefit from the Carve Play. You do have many different games integrated within Carve to accomplish missions and get those achievements to then portray your gaming profile to the community. Now, if we take a closer look at Carve Play in itself on the website, you do see all of the ongoing missions that you can get and earn badges, earn different NFTs. You you also are able to create your own account and this serves as your profile on Carve. They have over 900,000 plus unique users that have created one of these IDs, the Carve IDs that they call. You can go on to the different games that are obviously affiliated with Carve and so on and so forth. The events, the shop and so much more. So that in itself is is a carve play now if we switch gears and talk about their carve ai chat box which is called kara this is initially for the carve ecosystem answering all of your top questions you can literally go in there it's a telegram chat you essentially ask a question and you're interacting with the ai bot 
They are obviously trying to improve this as much as they can. And ultimately, Kara is going to be able to recommend games based on your profile, based on the games you've previously played, and so on and so forth. And it is basically trying to make the user experience a, you know, more educational based crypto journey because there are a lot of questions in crypto. You probably are Google searching different things on the internet to find an answer. But if you are able to use a bot like Kara, which is again, the AI aspect of a Carve's protocol, well, ultimately it may be much easier to find your answers. So now that we understand a bit more about the different products that are offered by Carve, let's take a look at the architecture of this layer because there is a lot and we're not gonna go into each and every single one of these sections. I just wanna paint a picture as to where these nodes actually come into play. Because if we take a look at this, you have your identity layer, you have your storage layer, your computation and a training layer, the execution layer and the verification layer. So of course, if we're talking about nodes, we are going to be looking at the verification layer. So for those who are looking to run one of these nodes, you are going to be participating in this ecosystem, of course, making it more decentralized and basically participating in the verification layer of Carve's protocol. So before we go into more details on tokenomics, node rewards and all of that, how to participate in the whitelist sale, well, we need to talk about who is a funding Carve because ultimately, if no one really knows about this project, then how is it going to, you know, continue to evolve over time? But if we take a look at Carve on a crypto rank, well, as we can see here, we do have some pretty key backers. We have Hashkey, we have Consensus, we have OKX Ventures, a lot of, you know, tier twos, tier threes and a tier fours a lot of top people and they've basically raised 14 million dollars at a 60 million dollar valuation so of course in my opinion there is a lot of interest on carve and if we do take a look at some of the upcoming sales well we do have some on d app plus star launch impossible finance open pad Cedify, so on and so forth so those are all for the actual node sale and eventually there is probably going to be a token sale at some point but right now we're really focusing on the node sale very similar to ether and to gpu.net to io.net and all of these bigger companies that have recently launched their node sale they basically get their node sale first and then they go on to their token sale after their node sale is completed. So if we take a look at the token itself, it is going to be carved. There's a billion token as a max supply. And as the utility of this token, we are talking, of course, about gas, about purchasing on the Carve ecosystem, as well as the governance token of the platform. They also have a vested Carve token, which is essentially what node rewards are getting. And after a certain amount of staking time, you can convert that VE Carve into the Carve token. But taking a look at the distribution of Carve here, we have nodes and communities. So 50% of the Carve tokens are for nodes and community. Of that, we have 25% that are going to be allocated to node rewards. We have 9% for ecosystem and treasury, about 10% for early investors. We then have another 10% for the private fundraising and 17% for the team and founders. And last but not least, about 4% for liquidity but what i do want to note here is that even though we have you know about 10 percent for those of uh, early investors and 17 percent for the team and advisors we do see that they are going to be distributed over time so not all of these tokens are coming out at once and if we take a look at you know when this vesting does start it does seem like the private sale and early investors have about a six month cliff before they can do anything with their tokens and then it is linearly vested 
for the better part of three years. So definitely building more of a sustainable ecosystem and not just a quick pump and dump. So now for the fun stuff and to understand how this node sale is going to work. Well, as we said, there is going to be 25% of the carve tokens as rewards for the people running nodes. And there are going to be 100,000 nodes available. Now, if we take a look at what is going to be used for you know purchasing these nodes we are talking about wrapped ethereum on arbitrum now if we take a look at the different tiers again it's super similar to ether to gpu to ionet all of these are having different tiers if you get in on the early tiers you're obviously paying a lot less but if we take a look at some of the tiers here tier one starts at about 500 dollars there are 4,000 nodes, and then as you continue going down these tiers, well, obviously the price of the node does increase. But if we take a look at the implied tier FDV, this gives you an idea of the valuation of the project based on how many nodes are sold. So, of course, it all depends on how retail is going to react to this how many nodes are going to be sold, but we do see, you know, still a low-ish valuation for these nodes. Let's assume we get to a tier 10 and we have 50% of the people running nodes actively. This would give a carve about a 320 million FDV, which is still relatively small. I mean, Ether probably at a $2 billion FDV, if not even more. I know their token sale was going for $1.2 billion. So, of course, Ether, a much bigger project, Carve, a little smaller here. It obviously depends on the amount of nodes that are sold. But ultimately, that is how this implied FDV happens. Now, of course, this is with a 50% projected participation rate. So if 100% of people are running all of their nodes here, this FDV would actually be at around a 640 million as opposed to 320. But all of the projects have been doing it this way just to give you an idea of what could happen. So if we take a look at what you need to run one of these nodes, you need at a minimum one CPU core 2 gigs of RAM and a 4 megabyte per second download speed. But the recommended here is about twice of the minimum. You can definitely use a VPS to run this. I am running all of my nodes with Vulture. There is a referral link down below that you can get up to $100 if you sign up. So definitely going to give you a few months for free if you are looking for a VPS service. And of course, if we talk about node rewards, just how many carve tokens are you going to be getting? for running one of these nodes well first and foremost it depends on how many nodes are running at once so if we just assume that there are let's say 5,000 nodes running well each month you are going to be getting about 2,300 tokens but of course if there's twice as many nodes you're going to get twice as less there is the breakdown here and something else to note here there is a reduction of 25 percent every six months so this is going to be decreasing every half year you're going to get less and less rewards as this project continues to evolve and you may be asking yourself well why am i going to be getting less and less tokens well that is because as more and more tokens come in circulation there is going to be of course less tokens to give out which is why the rewards are decreasing just like any other project because they do have a max supply of 1 billion tokens so right now the verifier node sale is not live yet and if you are listening to this video you are still early because you can get access to the whitelist sale through our community so if we take a look at this the whitelist sale starts on may 24th then there's going to be a public sale on may 28th so again very similar process to other node sales that we have seen and to get access to the whitelist sales so we have been able to secure some nodes in a tier 4 tier 5 and tier 6 and the way to get access to this is through our discord the vip community has a first dibs on this so we did create all of the tools that you need within that discord you're going to be able to come in here and say i want you know let's say two nodes and then based on whoever answers first 
in this community, we are going to allocate those nodes to those people. And of course, we have all of the details in you know our Discord, all the information. So if you have any more questions on this, well, you can definitely check out our VIP Discord. And on top of that, if we take a look at something that's very interesting in terms of what Carve is doing differently than other node recent sales that we've seen well they do have a hundred percent buyback program that essentially allows people who have purchased nodes and are running nodes for six months after the actual node sale well there is a potential of a hundred percent buyback with a carved token or an 80 percent buyback in ethereum so very interesting. This is definitely going to be, you know, an interesting way to get the community involved because from six months post TG, node license holders have seven days to participate in this program and they have all of the details right here. So you basically have to own one node. You have to wait six months after TGE. And then it says node license holders who have maintained 70% or higher participation rate well, just run your node as you get it. Once it's available to run, you are going to be eligible for this. And they basically have 10 million carve tokens allocated for this. And of course, they do still have, you know, the possibility of an 80% Ethereum buyback. So quite interesting. Of course, this is for the long run and it does incentivize people to participate. So with all of that being said, that is the information on Carve. I will be leaving links to all of this down below, but we are talking about AI, we're talking about gaming, and we're also talking about data storage, integrating it all into one protocol. There is also that node public sale that if you want to get in, you can use code selected to get 10% off those nodes when that public sale happens but if you want to secure your spot check out that vip community for a chance to get a whitelisted spot so with all of that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the vip discord and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace